YouTube, all you crazy people. Well, as you can see, it has arrived. And I'm locked down, but it's arrived. I finally got one. I've got the other half of my up tent for uh, this year's adventures, if we ever get let out. So I thought I'd give it a first burn. I'm having to do a voiceover because uh, the audio was shocking. The wind was terrible. But I've got to say, I was really impressed with the stove. I'm really impressed with it. It came within a day of ordering it. Uh, I found it on eBay. I found it on eBay before Christmas. Uh, but, you know, just the money wasn't quite there before Christmas. So after Christmas there was, but they were out of stock. And uh, it was this one that I wanted because of the size of it. Um, I want to be able to put it on the back of my motorcycle. And I want to be able to put it on my kayak. My new kayak, if I can get a new kayak. But if not, on the one I've got. And uh, just experience some hot tenting. It's just something I want to do. I'm an old man now. I need the heat. Fancy doing a bit of winter camping. I would be, love to be out now, um, especially in the snow. I'd love to be trying my tent in the garden, um, but it just don't fit. The garden's too small. So uh, I've just got to be patient like the rest of us and wait till I can get out. But I'm glad I finally got one because it is absolutely spot on. Paid 155 quid for it off eBay from a company called Life Under Canvas. And the quality and the fact that it came within a day, I couldn't believe how quick it came. And um, at the time, I hadn't even told the wife that I'd actually pressed the button and paid for it. I thought I'd got a couple of days grace, you know. <laughs> but uh, came the next day. So, uh, yeah, that's me having my first burn. I had a cup of tea, me and Budsy sat outside and uh, just sat there watching the flames. Can't wait to get it in a tent. So. Uh, how did I manage to do it? Well, I said to her in the end, you know, if, if the world just switched off and you had no power, how are we going to keep warm? You've got to bug out. I said, you've got all the camp here. How are you going to keep warm in the winter? I says, if you've got a little log burner, I says, no matter what, you're going to stay warm. And uh, that was it. She says, just buy it and get one. Obviously, I'd already done it because it arrived. Um, so I'm coming up to 100 subscribers now which I find just, it still astounds me. I lost four subscribers a couple of weeks ago and I was absolutely mortified. <laughs> I know four to some people, some people's channels, they probably don't even notice, but uh, I was absolutely mortified. So that's when I did kayaking um, trips down the canal, which to be fair, I am finding really therapeutic. Um, it just does, it's just nice to get out. I just get some fresh air in your lungs and uh, I sleep really well. After a day's paddling, I have the best night's sleep ever. Yeah, and I'm coming up to 100 subscribers now. So yeah, 100 subscribers. What's 100 people that <laughs> like listen to me chat shit with my crazy dog doing what we love doing most, whether it be kayaking, motorcycling, I don't know, anything. We just, anything we do together, really. Um, so I've got to do a giveaway. So I've ordered, uh, it's just something I ordered myself one of. Press one. I thought, you know what? I'm coming up to 90. I best start thinking about something that I can give to you, give something back. And um, it's not much, you know. It's uh, actually a cutlery set. So I go outdoors. I ordered myself one because mine oh, is far too big. I've got far too much stuff, and I just needed a lightweight one. So the set came with a folding spoon, spatula. Ultra light, ultra light cutting board, salt and pepper shaker, a squeezy bottle for your washing up liquid, and a dish towel. And uh, the weight comes in at 136 grams, and I can obviously add to the other bits I've got with my little tongs and um, what have you, will go in the bag. And uh, yeah, you know, um, I'd like to give that away to one of you. So I'd like to know in the comments below what stories do you come up with? for your partners when it's something you desire and want. Because, you know, especially boys and their toys. I've, all, I've been married 30 years, so I know exactly what I've got if I really, really want something. So, yeah, thank you very much. Quite hard boy. So put down in the comments, but what do you say when you want something? Because I'm terrible for the toys. <laughs> so I really need this quiet. So, more comments. I get on this video, one-liners. If you were saying to your partner that you needed this kayak, what would it be that you would say? And uh, leave that below. And um, I'll pick the funniest one out. 
I'll probably add something else to this uh, this small kitchen set. It'll be a fire lighting kit or something, some little bits and bobs. And uh, fingers crossed, with a bit more pestering. Because I really pester and look in it large, you know. Can I have a kayak? And she just looks at me and smiles as if to say, will you shut the fuck up? You're really doing my head in that. I don't know, getting to the point. You just gotta keep that pressure up a little bit longer, do a little bit more DIY, and I'm there. So yeah, comments below. Um, give me the funniest one. How would you get this kayak? What would be your winning line? And uh, come on, make me laugh. See where we go. Stay safe out there.